Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you a really quick, simple refresh routine. It's my most used refresh. I typically do it on a day two or three. Today is day three three or four hair, I can't remember because I did Wash Now Style later a few days ago and I've got all muddled up with my days. But yeah, I wanted to share this refresh routine with you. So let's go ahead. By the way, how cute is this jumper that I'm wearing? It says Wonky Curl Club and it was designed by Marisa's Curls, my curl friend over on Instagram and YouTube. I'll put a link in the description bar for you because I just think it's so cute. So usually before I refresh my hair, I like to assess my hair and see what it needs. So at the moment, I can see that I have some frizz going on. My hair's feeling very soft. If I run my hands down it, while it does have product in it, I can feel that it feels quite soft. So that's a sign that it needs a little bit more hold in my hair, but generally I've got some separated curls. I do still have some curl clumps lasting, but generally it just needs a bit of hold, I would say, but it's not too bad for a day three considering I haven't refreshed it. So today I'm gonna to refresh with the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Refresh. I really love this stuff, as you can see. I use it all the time. The reason that I really like it is because it's very lightweight. It doesn't weigh my curls down on a refresh day. Because when I refresh my hair, I already have product in my hair. I don't always wanna use loads more product. I don't always want to use a thick gel. I would say it's probably light to medium hold, but because I already have product in my hair, they're already adding hold to my hair anyway. And then when I refresh, it will reactivate the products in my hair and add a little bit more hold with this. However, if I were, for example, going to an event or I knew that I was going to be going outside in the elements and I wanted my hair to last, then I would probably use a stronger hold gel. So a couple of my favorite strong hold gels are the Curlsmith Shine Gel and the Curlsmith In Shower Style Fixer. Both of these I would refresh with. I just put a little bit of product in my hand first and then I mix it with water and I just literally mix it in my hands like this until it goes into a jelly-like consistency and then I'll glaze over my hair. So that's what I would do if I wanted more hold, but if my hair, for example, was feeling very dry and stringy at the ends, not clumping up, then I would use a curl cream and I would focus it mainly on my ends. Some, sometimes I do that between wash days. If my ends aren't clumping up, I'll take a bit of the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. This is my favorite for juicy ringlets. I'll just take a small amount of this in my hands mix it together with a bit of water or I'll spray my ends and then I'll just scrunch it into my ends and I really find that that helps bring my clumps back and then if your hair's dry and you feel like you need a bit of frizz control you can just take the excess and just glaze it over your hair and that will really help. You can also take individual curl clumps and just finger coil and your clumps will come back to life. So yeah, there's lots and lots of options when it comes to refreshing. I will do another video, a more in-depth video of different refresh techniques because I do think that I need to do an updated one. So let's get on with the refresh. I'm not gonna bother sectioning my hair for this refresh. Like you can see that I do have some really good curl clumps still left in. It's just a little bit frizzy and needs a bit more hold. So I'm just gonna make this a really quick refresh. I'm gonna part my hair to the side because that's how I like to have my hair when it's down. I feel like it looks a bit more full. I'm just gonna sort of do like a glazing, detangling motion. I'm not really sure what to call it, but this is kind of helping to detangle my hair a little bit. And it's also gonna help smooth some of the frizz. And since I'm gonna be adding product anyway, it doesn't really matter if I disrupt my curls too much. Just do the same on the other side. I don't always do this. I don't generally detangle my hair on a refresh, like properly detangle, because I just find What's the point? It takes too long, but if your hair is really, really knotty, then I would recommend detangling it at least a little bit because otherwise it's just gonna build up when you get to wash day and then it's just gonna be absolute chaos when it comes to detangle your hair. So first I'm just gonna wet my hair. And I'm not like completely saturating it so it's soaking wet, it's just damp. But I'm just making sure that like it's wet enough that I can smooth my frizz down. I absolutely love these mist spray bottles. This is a new one that I got from Bounce Curl. Okay, so my hair is wet, not dripping, a little bit more than damp. The wetter it is, the longer it's gonna take to dry. You don't even have to wet your hair, especially with a product like this, you could literally just put this 
directly onto your hair. You might even get to this point and feel your hair and think, actually it doesn't need any more product, actually I could just get away with diffusing. And if that's the case, then do that. You don't want the refresh to ruin your curls, you want it to make your curls look better, that's the whole point of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Curl Jelly Refresh Spray. I think I do about eight pumps. Yeah, I do about six to eight pumps, spray it in my hand, mix it together, and just glaze it over. This is the consistency of it. It's very lightweight. It's basically a watered down version of the gel, I would say, but it really, really brings my curls back. It really helps my clumps come back. It just adds just the right amount of hold for me on a refresh. And yeah, I just really like it. So yeah, I'm just basically glazing product over and scrunching it in. You can really see my curls are coming back. If you're finding that your hair is a bit like stringy in some places, then make it a bit wetter. Like you don't have to completely saturate all of your hair, but in some areas like the ends for me, sometimes they just respond a bit wet, a bit better to being a bit wetter. Um, when I'm refreshing, just giving them a little praying hands method and a little scrunch. Okay, now I'm gonna diffuse my hair. So I'm using the Shark Style IQ diffuser. I bought this about a year ago and I really, really like it. I have shared about it in another video, I believe. So I'm gonna use a medium speed on the fan and a low heat, which is more of a medium heat on this dryer, but you can also use the cool shot if you want to. Other side. Okay, so this is pretty much dry now and these are my refresh results. So I just find that like the quickest refresh and I do get a bit more frizz, but I also get volume with the frizz because it's functional frizz. And I just love the way that my ringlets bounce back together. The diffusing is what takes the longest amount of time. The wetter your hair is when you refresh, obviously the longer it's gonna take to dry, the longer it's gonna take to diffuse. So if you want a faster diffusing time, then either don't wet your hair at all. With this one, you really like, you can actually get away with not wetting your hair. Sometimes I'll literally put a bit of the product, this product in my hands with a bit of water to emulsify it even more and then like, there's water in my hand and then I just glaze it over and scrunch. I'm just gonna scrunch my hair and give it a little fluff to show you like the full refresh result. I am pretty happy with this for a day three refresh. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it to be honest. It's much fuller, it's much more defined. I've got some really good definition back in there. I've got my bounce back. I've got some really nice clumps underneath. It's not perfect, but you know, it's just a really quick refresh. I just wanted to glaze a bit of product and water over it, diffuse it and go. So yeah, let me know if you found this helpful. Let me know if you try this refresh method and it works for you. And let me know your favorite refresh method in the comments as well. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.